everyone. Today is me and Toby. Toby is a little tense today because he got shaved yesterday. He looks so pretty. So, and Jenny said we shave him a little bit, especially face. Toby is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. Toby, look at, <laughs> say hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Anyway, uh, I am uh, happy to see you all, and today is a beautiful morning. My name is Alana. I'm a veterinarian and pharmacist, and today I want to talk about uh, another um, disease common in dogs. It's a canine idiopathic uh, epilepsy. So epilepsy comes with, uh, uh, some dogs have that um, disorder. It starts in early age, maybe three to six months, when they have absolutely unknown, for unknown reason, have the seizures. Seizures last about one or two minutes and manifest itself in a muscle construction. Usually dogs lie down and... Uh, constrict the muscle so all uh, four limbs kind of jerky and paddling uh, the eyes could be open but a uh, dog can be um, definitely uh, consciousless so uh, this is of course uh, not pleasant um, disorder uh, for dog and for a uh, pet owner uh, so after this kind of like a seizure um, <clears throat> fit a uh, dog can be disoriented and just kind of confused so it's also lasts for a few minutes um yeah you know, so we are want to treat a dog like that especially who is seizures uh free interval very uh i mean onset of uh, seizures pretty um often pretty like about two three days and maybe every day even so uh, usually it's characterized by a generalized onset or tonic-clonic uh, seizures. Uh, both of them uh, treat, uh, there is a medication that can be treated and we treat them with phenobarbital. Phenobarbital, it's a common medication for human, for seizures, but it's uh, also approved by FDA of label for dogs. It's about two, three milligrams per kilogram, twice a day. And um, phenobarbital, it's pretty same medication, but definitely possible can cause some side effects. One of the major one is polydipsia, polyuria, polyphagia, which is frequent urination, uh, thirst, excessive thirst, excessive hunger. Uh, so also make uh, cause a little bit sedation, definitely phenobarbital cause sedation and ataxia. So um, uh, dog kind of feel uh, lethargic, looks lethargic and doesn't really lose interest in, in activities and stuff like that. But if it's uh, something uh, going to be continued, those side effects, you got to contact your veterinarian and ask them to adjust the dose or change medication. <clears throat> With phenobarbital, usually uh, also prescribe potassium bromide as additional medication that help uh, to uh, work them in the synergy and help with the seizures for dogs. Uh, potassium bromide, um, it's pretty safe medicine, but also uh, can have some um, side effects like also polydipsia, polyuria, polyphagia. And <clears throat> also you have to watch for uh, too much bromide in the dog's body, which is can cause some accumulation and cause the side effects. Side effects uh, could be like um, also stupor, ataxia, which is uh, he cannot move, really lethargic, re even coma. So um, this is, could be uh, kind of dangerous if you overdose it. But usually veterinarian prescribe um, um, dose that works for uh, for uh, pet just uh, in addition to phenobarbital. I've seen a lot of prescribed also for dogs and nisamide. The nisamide it is a medication uh, for uh, Tonic clonic seizure for human, but off law of of label, they prescribe for canine idiopathic um, epilepsy. 
So they do uh, like add-on, which is additional medic therapy or just a single therapy like monotherapy. Works pretty well. And the dose is usually initiated as uh, five milligrams per kilograms every 12 uh, hours, which is twice per day. For human, usually it's once per day. So usually needs to be monitor uh, liver, uh, uh, those hepatic enzymes level because it's a little hypo hepatic uh, the to hepatotoxic medication. So uh, your veterinarian, I'm sure, will be uh, doing that uh, blood work uh, probably in the beginning, about every six months when the zinisamide is initiated. Uh, another medication very common that's also a uh, human medication prescribed for human but is a label used for dogs uh, levothyrotine or capra uh, dosage of 20 grams per kilogram and sometimes they do uh, extended release prescribed extended release prescribed in 30 milligram per kilogram every 12 hours toby <laughs> sit down uh, gabapentin, very common uh, medication. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention levothyrotine, uh, common side effects also on uh, uh, GI upset, can be GI upset like nausea, vomiting, uh, loss of appetite, a little sedation, and ataxia, which is also um, uh, lethargic, slow motions and no much interest in activities. The same with gabapentin. Gabapentin on nevrontin, common medication for human, and they use it for dogs. It's okay to use for dogs as well. So uh, causes sedation. Usually it's good to uh, give dog a before bed that uh, during the day he's gonna be active. They come up in the capsule and tablet, but also in a suspension, oral suspension, but it has to be xylitol free. So at all, it's a sugar substitute. Sometimes they add to medications. Uh, yeah, that's very toxic for dogs. So uh, make sure that um, the suspension is xylitol free. I'm sure you're veterinarian aware of it. So, but I'm just uh, want to let you know as well as a pet owner. So treatment is pretty and prognosis very um, good. So a dog can live long life, um, medication, but it's a little bit um, time consuming and of course uh, troublesome for give it pet uh, medication pretty much every day. So also they uh, give it a, a, a diazepam, diazepam, it's volume. It's also help with um, seizures. Uh, usually it's given uh, right away um, as a rectal um, ins insertion. Um, it just uh, to, if it's really severe seizures started, so diazepam help to uh, stop the seizure. And it's kind of like emergency medication. And every pet owner who um, dog, a pet owner who has a, a pet who has the seizures, they have to have it at home just to keep it handy. Midazolam or uh, diazepam, those two medications. They very short duration of work, so they work immediately. So uh, I recommend as a pharmacist uh, to keep seizure calendar or diary. So you put in uh, dates and time when seizure occurred and duration of seizure and treatment, treatment and outcome, uh, how it actually worked for Pat. And if it's some like uh, maybe it doesn't work, you are need to switch medication and contact to your veterinarian. So that's about it for now. If you have a prescription, come to see uh, to our pharmacy. And uh, also, if you have any questions, please subscribe to my channel and write me a question. And my website, www.wholesome-pharmacy.com. Or I also have a page, a face page, the professional on a page on Facebook and on Instagram. And that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed the day and have a great day. I will see you tomorrow or be more with another 
uh, our topic, maybe it's a little boring, but it's actually very useful to know if you are a patent owner. But I'm open for any questions. Please do not hesitate to ask me if you have anything. I can do this personally. I can do this over the phone, over the Skype, text message, and telephone also. Telephone. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. <laughs>